For my final project, I decided to develop a computer game version of a board game concept that my brother and I created several years ago called Dunia. Dunia is a competitive, turn-based, two-to-four player game played over nine rounds. Each round consists of several phases, which I'll go over in a bit. The winner of Dunia is whoever has the most world points at the end of the nine rounds. Here's the main menu of the game. As you can see, you could select the number of players or also the size of the islands from small, medium to large. And there I'm demonstrating uh, the various sizes. Each player will be in control of a separate island. So this is the start of the actual game. It starts with the initial phase. Um, and so during the initial phase, each player gets to place two resource producers and a trade port. Resource producers produce the kind of resource based on the land hex that it's located on. After the initial setup phase, the game is played through the nine rounds, which each consists of uh, the different phases. Right now, uh, the first phase is the trade phase. You can see what round and phase you're in in the upper left-hand corner. After the trade phase then goes into the construction phase, you can see here an example of building more resource producers later on with the right kind of resources. You can also build uh, world centers and trade ports. Next is the production phase where each player collects their resources that they receive. And then the event phase. Um, event phases occur during non-disaster rounds. Next is the politics phase, which goes through a series of things related to who is going to become the next uh, world leader for the following round, um, and also the ability to buy corruption to influence becoming the next world leader. I've skipped ahead to round three. I don't have time to go over all the rules, so, so we'll just cover the main elements. A significant part of the game are the four disaster rounds. A random natural disaster will occur, for example, a tornado, earthquake, a volcano, a pandemic, etc. Um, these disasters cause loss of resources and destruction to buildings and land. You'll see in a bit the disaster occurs during the event phase of the round. Then right after the disaster, each nation will have a chance to recover its own damage and the world leader can recover damage throughout the world, earning world points. So here's an example of a tornado which damages the grassland uh, land hexes and causes players to lose all their or half of their food and oil resources. As you can see, damaged land hexes are indicated with uh, an X. Any buildings not recovered uh, during this phase will then disappear at the uh, end of the phase. Yeah. Once each player has had a chance to do their own national recovery, then the game goes into world recovery where the world leader has a chance to recover any damage that has not been fixed yet of other players' nations, and for each building and land hex recovered, the world leader will earn one world point. They can also recover their own areas, but they don't receive any points for, doing, for fixing things in their own nation. Additionally, there is a world relief uh, that you can see at the top of the screen. The world leader has access to that to help with the recovery efforts. And now we're back into the politics to finish out the end of this round. I developed this project using the Unity game engine. I heavily borrowed the hex maps from Catlike Coding and used some free and purchased sound assets. Now I jump to the end of the game and it shows that the player one won the game with the most uh, world points. It shows each other player's points. And then when you click on OK, it takes you back to the main menu where you can quit or start another game. Thanks for watching this video of my final project.